Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Subtech. I had planned to just get my body back and start recording again, but I died like three times on the way to get my body. I eventually got it, but I got swarmed by those flying bat ripoff things, the Grisnaws or whatever they are, and then something that looked like a zombie hag or swamp hag, but it was called a white or white or wit or whatever it is, W I G H T. Pretty sure it's white. Um, had like these magic particle effects that it shot out of it and just kicked my butt. And you know, I finally got my body after many, many deaths. And even when I had my stuff, I still died easily because I just couldn't take a hit. So I finally decided that yes, I'm going to build the armory. So got some stuff together ready for it. And here we go, guys, because yeah, I'm sick of dying all the time. Although the thing is, is with the materials I have, I don't know if it's going to be any good. But if we go over here, we read this. Uh, you'll need an armor station and an armor forge. Uh, one makes craft armor repair and replace, but the forge is the one that lets you upgrade things. Sort of like the part tool thing and all that stuff for the Tinker's weapons. Um, so yeah. So we can make all these pieces. And oh, I melt. I smelted that octane or whatever. I want to go grab it. I don't think it can be used for any tinker construct stuff, but it has quite a few uses. Oh no, no uh, thing. Yeah, it makes the purifier. It makes these swords. It says good is new. That's it. I don't know if it does anything. Sets things on fire or whatever. Uh, it makes the tools, arrows. Um the elm bag, whatever that is and the infuser so like a bunch of the tools for this thing it makes pistons too which is one of the first vanilla redstone things I've seen although it doesn't take vanilla materials obviously octane sort of replaced redstone um, the only downside is I don't really have any redstone things in general so turning it on and off would be hard and I'm not sure what I would do with it yet all the things I need for redstone pistons not it I need droppers and what not more but okay let's get started so the armor station oops wrong thing uh, let's see armor station armor okay here we go armor forge takes an armor station oops I need another one of these things I think which is just a crafting table and some patterns which fortunately my patterns are in this one so I'll use this table there we go make another one because I kind of use this one up so I made these two crafting stations first okay and then we need an armor forge I got the blocks of iron what am I missing? oh seared blicks um that's not good oh here we go uh, it used to be in that other chest why well, i thought i was in trouble um so armor forge seared bricks i thought i could make it from these um, is this a four by four? I think I need three, but whatever. Any block seared? There we go. Yeah, they do count. Okay, it takes four freaking iron blocks. Okay, so we got these. This should uh, pattern chest, part chest. Armor station, eh, why not? So, no, it needs to be on the left or right. So it needs its own pattern chest, but I'll do that later. And then the armor forge. Now eh, this is getting messy. Okay, armor station. So, let's start with the chest piece.
injuries and two chests. Okay. So let's see here. How do we use this? Is it, oh, oh, okay. Maybe stencil table. Okay, yeah, we gotta make it here too. Um, is there a way to search this? Of course not. Whoa. That's almost bad. He almost broke my door. I guess fence posts and a fence gate would have been better, but luckily I saved my door from destruction. I didn't think they would bust down doors without a villager on this side. But whatever. We had an interruption. Okay, now I have to try to find things. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell what these things are until you click on it and then look at it over here. I mean, you got the vague picture. I mean, that's pretty sure that's a helmet. And that's a polishing kit. That's what I always wanted. Armor trim. That sounds important. We'll make one. Speaking of, we'll make the helmet because we might need it too. No, we don't want the polishing. We don't want the bow. Armor plates, maybe. We're just going to make everything, guys. Chest plate core. Pants. Boots. Can't understand that yet. Oops. Back. Can't understand that. Or that. Or that. So, what's this? Both strings. So that should be all the armor stuff. We can't understand. Okay. So the part builder, or do I go to the armor station? Core chest piece. No, so we do do this in the part builder too. Okay. That's interesting to know. Okay, so we can make a wooden chest plate, guys. Defense 3. Actually, this is a really cheap, easy way to make some crappy armor. Um. Okay. We'll make that. And then armor plates. Armor trim. And that might be everything I need for one pattern at least. So we're going to the core, because I'm pretty sure I want to make that out of something other than wood. Put that there, pour that down, make sure all these other ones are shut. Don't have an accident. Pour the gold. Unfortunately, um, that one's still taken up by glass. I mean, if you look at it, it's getting there. It's got like 12 or so more glasses in there. Okay, so we got excess gold. We really didn't want to make a gold block, but whatever. Okay, so... Hmm, bronze, I think, is my best at everything, to be honest. Uh, I can't... I don't have any bronze melted. Dang it. We'll, we'll do... Well, what's iron do? I think it's just magnetic. And I don't think... Iron chest core. No, we want this one, right? Twelve durability, fifteen defense. That one's just six armor. Clay cast, huh? I can start using the clay now instead of gold. My bad. Oh well. Um, chest core. Let's see what I got. We got obviously the wood, stone with cheap steak, which is useless. Flint's bad. Cactus chest plate gives that 
Thorn's ability. Surprisingly decent defense. Um, way, way more than freaking Bone. Or Flint or any of these other weak ones. Wow. Cactus is strict good. Um, Prismarine's really good. One defense for sponges. I wonder why the defense is in red. Slime has really good durability. Um, copper is the same. Give you extra experience points. Bronze is 12, which is a little weaker than iron. But it has more durability, I think. Yeah, a little bit. And that dense thing. Can't make silver. I don't think. Yeah, you need silver. It's not a composite ore you make. So we're going to have to get some bronze going here, guys. Uh, ah, crap, I messed that up. Really, really, you know, where's my axe? Can I stop this? Sick of the freaking sand. I know I need a lot of glass, but it just would never end. I actually thought of dedicating an episode sometime soon to an aesthetic aspect of my base. I was going to make big glass windows and like that flowing molten glass that I thought looked cool and stuff, little streams. But you know, I'm still stuck at this whole trying to get progression thing. It's slow enough as it is without taking time to build stuff. Plus every time you build stuff, you get better stuff so quickly. Kind of sad, one of the sad aspects. Okay, so where'd the hopper go? Hmm. That's not good. And of course, it took off the axe again to put the freaking hopper down. Okay, so we need freaking clearance. There we go. Oh, of course, we don't have bronze on us. There we go. We got sand. Just merging some stuff. Oops. Okay. We wanted metal stuff. Still have no idea to turn off that ability where it darkens everything. Okay, put that in there. The bronze ignites. Bronze. We'll put in always from all because the plate probably takes like a lot. So it can't be cheaper than making it. Okay, so what's this? Take out these plates. Stuck there until I get more gold in there, which I probably should have done instead of this thing. Come on. Oh, just a copper cluster. We don't want that in there. 
Here we go. In a tin. Get rid of those things. I'll make some glass panes. Why not just get it out of there faster? Okay, so we're about to get this going. Uh, we want a bronze chest, and I don't know what other parts we need. Um, chest piece. Plates and trim, I'm guessing, right? Well, that's the armor plates pattern. There's the adhesive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's right here. Okay. And trim. So we need some plates and some trim. Okay. So we're going to close this off and this off. We don't want accidents. I'm surprised I can't use gold for anything so far other than the molds. Can't use it for, um, you know, gold armor or anything. Oh, so close. 864, so that's like 8 ignits or something, or 7. I gotta say, this coal lasts for a long time. I put like a sack of 64 in there, and I don't really think I've ever refilled it, especially not completely. And they're still in there, after all the smelting I've done. On the other hand, the lava wears out pretty fast. Um, like, maybe... 12 blocks of iron wiped out my first batch of lava had to get more I mean luckily there's a big pool of it right there Wow okay so we're working on that um how do you get cactus anyway Oh yeah, so that's it lowers your durability every time you take a hit. That's bad. Uh, back. Marine materials. I don't really think we have anything good to put on this. We might have to do what we've been doing, which is bronze, wood, and then iron, I guess. Um, we're gonna have iron plates, maybe. Magnetic. I think magnetic two on my chest would have been nice, but whatever. Toughness zero. I don't really know what that does. Okay. Let's see. Anything I have that has toughness points. Stone. Nope. Hmm. Paper I still don't have. Wow, stronger in water. Oh, never mind. Paper is bad. Well, I wish I could go back without going all the way back. I guess I can. Um. But yeah, I guess I don't really have any other choices. None of the armor I have access to has the toughness. It does copper does give a good durability though. Oops, I did it again. Oh well. We'll just do the copper and iron wood. Luckily that should be done now. Okay, and what's the other plate? The trim. So we want the plates. Come on. Is it done? Making an extra one. Okay. Whatever. We might end up needing it because it might break on us. But we'll put that down. We'll close this one. Gold. And we'll finish off the gold plate, maybe. Yes. 
Push that off. And we just got gold floating around. Come on. There we go. Now we got this going for iron. We'll make iron plates with the extra. Okay. We got this too, the iron ingots. Oh well. I'm trying to get these things to be unclogged. But we got our iron plates or iron armor plates. Our bronze chest plate. Yeah. Oops. And our patterns go in there. I might actually need those. I don't need the chest for sure. I don't know if the other parts take trim and all that stuff. Okay. So what am I doing this one? Okay, so we got that was a that was a weird sound. Um armor trim oops half of a durability. Plates, there we go. So 304 durability. It has one modifier. I don't think I have the ability to do anything with that yet. Only 100 XP for this to go up though. Hold control. That's kind of useless because I can't hover over any of that stuff. Um. 305. Let's see what something else does. Although I do like the wood because, like I said before, it helps it regenerate faster. Although, what part should be a wood is beyond a little of a question. Although, with armor, it gets beat up so fast. I don't know if regenerating over time would help. So let's well the other things they don't really have any other resources to work with. We'll just use wood. It'll just get done with. And we got our first piece of armor. The other thing I'm worried about is the ecological says it has to be in my hand or on my toolbar to regenerate, so I don't know if I'm wearing it, it was still cover recovery. So let's take a look at this guys. Uh the side right? Wow, I look like full. Oh, I got a helmet on naturally. Okay. Yeah. That was just the helmet I got off a of zombie. Okay, so let's um get the rest of this stuff. Let's see what we need for a helmet. Okay, so the trim and the plate seem like it's something for everything. Okay. So. We're going to make a trim for each of these. Uh, boots and a helmet, right? That's all. Okay, trim pattern's done. Oops. And that should be it. Now we just need to put these other. Oh, I need to make those, yeah. Oops. Oops. These wooden shards are. Shard cast. And that's all they're good for is making a shard cast. I don't know why you'd make one and what you're supposed to do with these hundreds of other shards. I'm curious. Can you burn them? No, nope, you can't. They are 
really, really useless. Uh, unfortunately, I took it out, so I gotta keep it. Not sure why these things are dark, even though I have nothing typed in. Okay, so we got our boots, our woman helmet. So put the patterns away. I don't know what the second item down here is good for. I know if you put two things up there, it seems to always take the top one. Get rid of that. Okay, so. We'll make our helmet. Boots. No, I made two of these. Where's the parts chest? There we go. Yeah, we'll put one of those in there. So the helmet go down. Or down. That's closed. Yeah. Okay. Gold, even though I could use clay, but hey. Shut that off. Take that out. Put the boots down. Fill that up. Turn it off. And get rid of the rest, even though I really shouldn't be making blocks, because I can only melt those in the lava one. Okay, we got... Those going... I probably don't have enough bronze in there, to be honest. Yep, and these stupid things are now melting. Oh well. Let's get some more bronze. Okay, luckily I'm making stuff to make more bronze in there on accidentally. Although you need more copper than tin or tin than copper, I can't remember what it is. Okay, that one's gone. Copper. Yeah, I'm not going to make anything out of copper. The bonus to XP is just not worth it. Okay. Come on, keep going. Oh, yeah, we'll get the trim plates out while we're waiting. Um, last pane. Half of the way done, huh? And have to smash it and put it back down and all that, I'll just wait. Unfortunately. Really wish I had a big smeltery. Cook lots of things at once, lots of different liquids without worrying. But I need that aqua gem, and I've gone pretty randomly down there, I'll admit. But I haven't found anything. And it's just never ending caves. Okay. There we go. that the helmet put down not enough put down with the boots boots okay Three eighty four, three seventy. Wow, it takes a lot. All these tables, and I still don't have enough space. It's crazy. Oh, I have two things of tin going. I hate when that happens. I was mass pouring tin at one point. That's why, though. You know, trying to get through stacks and stacks of stuff. Okay, so let's put this here while I wait. Boots. One of these. Come on. Helmet is done. Let's make these things. 
Unfortunately, to put the bronze into something. Um, not. I'll finish off this chest plate if I can. Probably not now. Not even close. But we shall make our iron things. Oh, we gotta close that. There we go. Just saved it. Aw, oh, not quite enough. I know you can right click again real quickly to um, open and shut the valve a little faster. But it's still just a pain to have more than you want pour out all the time. We got this and those two plates and we're done. We have a full set of armor. Ah, uh, this one, right? Yeah. Boots. Where are my plates? There we go. Very little toughness. Yeah, I, I definitely should have at least one of these items have Magnetism 2 on it instead, but I can't be bothered. And... Pants. Forgot pants. Thought I was almost done. Wooden trim. Helmet. That's 12. Okay, so pants is just the pants. And then another trim. Okay, so I think we are going to make the pants magnetic too, just because. Luckily, we have a little bit of gold. Oh, I need that. Oh, oh no. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, pants. Gold. Please have enough. Oh no. Darn it. I always, you know, I always say double check for some mistakes. What I do. Well, you know, speaking of a mistake here, I'm going to try my clay. Which put up here I have it somewhere but I had it right here I was almost sure it was on the top chest oh well, here's some don't need this much but whatever Okay, so blood, good, whatever, get rid of it, clay, let's do three of them, probably should have just done one, but it takes a little while to burn these, now we can make a clay cast, so we don't need quite as much gold, we have endless clay. I already wasted a bunch of gold, but I, you know, honestly, doesn't seem like gold's good for much of anything else, other than the gold plates and stuff that's using a few recipes. So while that's going, let's put armor plates down, and let's check armor plates. Armor plate. So, let's see, bone, so iron of these is 0 0.85 and 5, what's the iron, or bronze, come oh, on, where's bronze, 1.1 1 .1 and 5.5, .5. so, yeah, it's actually a little above while iron's a little below. Well, I guess these will have a little bit more durability when we make these out of bronze. So that's down, it's alright. 
Oh, good. Finish this off, maybe. Nope. But we got rid of that. So we get rid of these. Put our pants back down. Come on. So close. Just want my full set of armor. All I gotta say so far, I got the chest. I only got 4.8 defense, huh? Um, come on, guys. Come on. Melt. I wanted to show this, but man, is it annoying. I really need a better smelter. This whole one liquid at a time, only you melt three at a time, takes forever to melt anything. If I it all lava, it would be okay, but it is so much easier for me to get these charcoal blocks just smelting wood in the little kiln than it would be to get lava because it's still melting, so I'll show you guys. Oh yeah, by the way, my fish just works slightly. I, I fixed the fishy thing to run off into there, and I got one fish there total. Which is really bad compared to the river outside my base. I've gotten dozens of fish there all the time. But yeah, this, yeah, I've already taken like 12, 13 of these lavas. And it's actually starting to show. I mean, there's a lot there, but it's a limited resource. Uh, so I'm going to go further and further away to get more and more lava. Carrying it one bucket at a time. Well, I could take a bunch of buckets, but still. Okay, there's our clay. Okay, now we need to get rid of this clay somehow. Hmm. Any other molds we need to make? Not really. So unfortunately, I'd have to destroy all these channels to do that. So we're going to. Remember it, I can't actually do anything but molds. Yeah, if I click this, molten clay. Oh, I can make a, yeah, I can do a block if I had enough. Well, I hate to waste all this tin, but I'm going to. Oh uh, yeah, it's not even gonna be enough. Okay, anyways, we got our pants. Which are gonna be iron. I'm making an extra iron place, that's good. Cooling. Ah, so the clay molds only last once okay not worth the effort but it is nice to know they exist because the molds also consume the item you use to make the mold out of so it's double consuming pants bronze plates oh, I didn't grab the other stuff Pants and the wooden trim. Two ninety toughness, one point two five overall. So that one's got some toughness. I don't think any of the other ones did. Boots. Ah, I, I didn't think of that. I shouldn't have made these. 
because um I need my slime boots. I got to make slime boots out of this stuff. Um I know you can slime boot Here we go. Yeah, the ones with stats. Not much defense, but it's a little better than nothing, especially if you put in different parts. But these ones you make out of the thing don't have any dur like any stats at all, but they don't break. Um, I'm not sure how you get liquid slime though. Let's see. Slime, slime. Where's liquid slime? No. So you don't know how you get the slime in the smeltery cast things. How about boot core? Boots core pattern. Slimy boots core. I might be able to just put boots pattern in there with some blood. Really didn't want to have to wait for another thing to melt, but I, I can't live without bouncing. I'd kill myself so many times for falling. Okay, well that's going. Let's put our stuff together though. We got our pants to put on. And so, yeah, our pants are the only thing with toughness, and that's because they're made with iron as a base instead of. And they all have ability to get a. a Modifier, but I don't have anything to give modifier to it, I don't think. Which is what this should do. Oh, the armor forge replaces the other one. I don't need both. Okay. Um so let's go to our chest piece. Put this there and Oh, it doesn't do anything. Um, block of iron? Nope. Yeah, I don't have any modifiers to add to it. I don't have the redstone. I have lapis now. I don't know if... My weapons are good enough to have a modifier? Modifier is three to have. Yeah, I don't have... Let's see. Let's see armor. Tool station. Okay. Oh, I need the lapis. Remember, it said like I didn't have the ability to do it before. I don't know if. Yeah, further progression is needed. So, yeah, I can't even do t modifiers yet. And once I get it, man, I'll be getting it. But yeah, so the only thing with mine that has toughness is my freaking pants. That's that. Get rid of that bone. I have so many, it's not funny. Okay, so let's get our... Uh, pick it up again, why not? Um, Boots. Please work. Slime core boots. So make that down. Shut that. No, it doesn't work. Darn it. Where'd it go? Huh. Usually it doesn't stop circling like that on its own. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I need to do to make slime yet. 
I have regular slime balls somewhere. Let's type in slime. Make it easier on myself. Hmm. I know I had at least nine regular slime balls. Not sure what happened. Oh, maybe they're here. Yeah. Can they melt? Just say not hot enough. This item can't be molten. So yeah, I don't know how you get liquid slime. Usage. Casting. Liquid slime. There we go, finally. Wheat and clay and a mixer will make liquid slime. How do you get a mixer? I can't. Really should be some other way to get liquid slime. But yeah, I guess I, I gotta keep these type of slime boots for now. Whoops. And eh, why not? We'll make a bunch of slime channels. Yeah, guys, I, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. We didn't get super far, but uh, let me go outside and try out this stuff real quick. I'm really curious. The main thing I want to see is if the ecological effect works on stuff you're wearing. Because if it has to be in your... Um, if you go into well, the armory book I just put back. I wonder if it's different than the tools that have to be in your hands. So, um, let's go up. Let's look at wood. They regenerate by themselves. It doesn't say... I can't remember where it said that they had to be in your toolbar. For the tools. I don't know if it's different for the armor. But let's go see. Let's go... And we got a half a thing of toughness now. Like I said, only one piece of my armor had toughness. And I don't need lapis. I was debating if I should take it just to get the surface sample. I think they respawn, but I'm not 100% sure. Bright side of being completely lost in there for a very long time is most of my tools have regenerated. Okay, so we're getting back to the areas where I haven't completely caved everything. Hmm. It's dark as heck over here and there's still no enemies. <coughs> ah, okay, you can't put it down. You can't put it down on stone though, or this fair stone. Well, not getting the enemies I wanted to fight. Oh, I know. Why did I come out here? Well, I was going to say I could go into the hunting dimension, but that's kind of overkill and it's kind of a death trap now. I got so many, uh, channels and mob spikes sitting there. Oh, here's my tin that I found when I thought I was looking for gold. Still have not needed it. The tin I, I, I killed myself really, spending like two hours mining that one tin mine and getting every single little block of the first one. Even with the buffalo enhancement and all that. Oh, these trees are confusing me. Now, I know they're not gray, but I'm looking. There we go, the weedwood tree. Let's get back over there. Uh, there's lots of enemies there to be found. And see how good I do. Um, I have quite a bit of armor. I only have a little bit of toughness. I don't know what the difference between armor and toughness really is. I know it's something that's even in vanilla Minecraft now, but I haven't really dealt with the difference. 
I think toughness might lower the damage your armor takes, but we'll see. Come on. Teleport me. Woo 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 woo. So I was taking about three, three and a half damage every hit from those sea hags or swamp hags. We'll see how this goes. Of course it's dark. Am I in a different area almost? Weird, I don't remember being so dark near my portal. Maybe it's because it's nighttime and I still haven't made a bed here. Okay, here's a frog. We don't want a frog. Definitely nighttime. Okay. It's going to make finding that portal down easier. I, I got tired of getting completely and utterly lost. So I marked it. Ah, oh, here we go. A white. This guy kicked my butt. And he still died. But it took a lot longer. And he didn't have spells that time. Um, he just ran up and hit me. The one I fought before was like a spellcaster. And he shot little white... Oh, crap. Spam click. That's what happened before. Um, it was one of those next swamp pack. I didn't have the body last time. I guess it's an ability they do. Um, they're not always. Wow, I don't know what it is, but the echo just started with my microphone. If I record for a while, sometimes it starts that. I don't know if it's because my memory's getting full and it can't keep up. That's not the longest recording I've ever had, but I did this last time too, where at the very end it sounded like a second or so behind what I'm talking in my earphones. Anyways, let's see if I can get my body. And we'll check the durability of my equipment. And we got nothing from that white, by the way. I had nothing in my inventory. I picked up the death compass. So. Lost about 10 durability. And we're going to get out of here. Huh. Don't remember digging a hole right in the middle. Okay, now where's that tree? That was just cruel. Okay, it's usually safe in here. So yeah, it was... No, we yeah, lost two more durability from that hit. 292, 200. Yeah, we lost about 10 overall and everything. And I am curious if it repairs, and I don't think it does. That makes the ecological advancement for armor kind of pointless. Because if you have to put it in your toolbar just to repair it, it's not going to be going all the time which makes what makes the tools useful is if you're not using them all the time they repair faster and you destroy them but the armor I just took t over 10 in a couple seconds and it's not going I have to put it here two hundred let's see if it goes up to one I think it works. I just can't hold shift too long, otherwise that's stupid. 
key quickness or whatever pops up. I think it's shadow play or whatever it came with my GPU. Yeah, there we go again. Sticky keys. I don't know what comes up all the time. Uh, it's still at 200. Maybe it doesn't work here. Uh, there's a shadow. A hag right there. A swamp hag. Maybe it needs sunlight. No, I'm not sure. I know it works underground. So... I mean, it has to work in that dimension just because my tools are repairing. Unless armor goes much slower than tools. So I was like looking at it for, I don't know, a couple minutes. Okay, so let's stand here. Still at 200. Yeah, I'm thinking that's just a broken thing. That's too bad. I wasted a part. I, I can replace it, I guess, with something else. Not sure what. Copper would give me more experience points, but I die all the time and I have nothing to spend it on. Could just put another iron or bronze thing in for better durability, but that's about it. That's too bad. That was really part of my strategy of having armor that didn't break all the time. I have to look online, but yeah, guys, this is just the guy signing off. Um, we got our armor. It's not, you know, what I kind of wanted. I look like a samurai. But yeah, guys, catch you later. Bye.